Hey there, everyone. This is Wendy, co-owner of North Bethesda Fit Body Bootcamp, and I want to welcome you to your Fit Body Transformation Challenge orientation. So the whole point of this is to leave you 100% confident going into this challenge. So here we go. We're going to break things up into six sections. And of course, you're not here, so you can ask any questions right now. But if you do, please email us, text us, or call us, and we will answer to the best of our abilities. Okay. So the first section, we're going to go over fat loss 101. Whatever you think you know about fat loss, weight loss, throw that out the window. We're going to re-educate you on how that really um, what that really means. Section two is nutritional periodization. Section three is how to make a meal. Okay, this is really important. Making a meal plan is prepping ahead of time and prepping ahead of time is going to help you be successful in your fat loss journey. Section four is tracking your food. Yes, for the six weeks, we ask you to track your food just because that will help you be aware of what you're putting into your body. Section five is us as coaches. We're going to be here to support you and hold you accountability, hold you accountable for your actions or lack thereof. And then finally, how do we bring this all together to help you have a successful six week challenge? So I'm gonna play a video for you and move on from here. The diet industry is broken. In fact, a staggering 95% of dieters regain the weight they lose and then some within only three years of losing the weight. Who signed up for that? Well, that's the bad news, but the good news is there is a better way. With the Fit Body Nutrition System, we set you up for long-term success. Let's jump in to section one to see how. In this section, we'll explore the not so secret secret to long-term fat loss. This is Dina, a Fit Body client who completed one of our six week challenges. How many pounds do you think Dina lost in six weeks? From these pictures, most would say 20, 30, or even 40 pounds. But Dina actually lost six pounds in six weeks. In fact, every week during the challenge, she was upset that the scale wasn't moving fast enough. But as you can see here, Dina completely transformed her body by losing six pounds of fat. That's what makes Fit Body unlike most gyms. We're a fat loss solution, not a weight loss program. Our 30 minute fat burning workouts combined with our Fit Body nutrition system are designed to help you shed fat while building lean muscle, just like Dina. By a show of hands, how many of you are here tonight because you want to lose weight or improve your health? Great, you're in the right place. In fact, we've helped thousands of people just like you lose over 300,000 pounds and inches and nearly 200 clients lose 50 or more pounds in the last seven years alone, and we're just getting started. Look at these transformations. These are actual Fit Body clients, not stock images we grabbed from the internet. These are real Fit Body clients who experienced phenomenal results and we're so excited to help you create your own success story. Over the next six weeks, we'll focus on helping you transform your body and mind by shedding body fat just as these clients have. Now, too often we make losing weight and keeping it off way harder than it needs to be with unsustainable rules that set us up for failure from the start. The truth is, long lasting fat loss is actually quite simple. First, the plan needs to be sustainable. If you're hungry and miserable all the time, or if the plan doesn't fit your lifestyle, you won't be able to stick to it for very long, which is why so many people regain the weight after they lose it. Next, for any fat loss program to work, you must be in a calorie deficit, which means you need to eat fewer calories than you burn. That's science. And finally, to lose fat and keep it off, you need to eat enough protein. Protein is what helps you feel full, helps your body preserve lean muscle, which drives your metabolism, and helps you maintain the weight loss after you increase your calories again. It's really that simple. As I said, long lasting fat loss is quite simple. That wraps up section one. What questions do you have? So the key takeaway here is knowing the difference between weight loss and fat loss. 
Okay. We here at Fit Body focus on fat loss because the number on the scale doesn't tell you too much. Okay. So for example, Dina, look at her. She looks like she lost 20 pounds, but guess what? She lost six pounds of fat. Okay. Six pounds of fat looks very different from six pounds of muscle. Six pounds of fat is voluminous, takes up a lot of space. On the other hand, six pounds of muscle is dense and it's compact. So therefore, when you gain muscle and lose fat, you look more compact, but you might not lose a lot of weight. So keep that in mind, everyone. Okay. We're going to move on to section two now. The diet industry is broken. And now that we've covered the difference between weight loss and fat loss, we're going to talk about how important it is to change how you think about your fat loss journey. One of the biggest reasons people regain weight after vowing that this is the last time they're going to lose it is that they don't put in the hard work required to change their mindset. Instead of viewing the challenge as a springboard to better health, they view it as a punishment and count down the days until it's over. Does this approach sound familiar to anyone? At FitBody, our goal is to help you change your mindset from being on a diet to improving your lifestyle, to help you ditch the all or nothing mindset and instead stick to healthy habits that make you feel great physically and emotionally, to stop playing the finite game and instead adopt the rules of the infinite game. When you do, you'll never diet again. What makes Fit Body Bootcamp different than all other programs is that we take a year-round approach to your nutrition, utilizing something called nutritional periodization. Nutritional periodization is a strategic way to change how many calories you eat at different times throughout the year to optimize your body's ability to lose fat over a long period of time. Our nutritional periodization approach includes three phases that help you lose weight year-round. Fat loss phases are designed to help you lose fat at an accelerated rate for a defined period of time. The six-week challenge is a fat loss phase. After you complete the challenge, you'll move to the transition and maintenance phases to build your metabolism so that you can lose weight again in the future. We'll dive into nutritional periodization more when we introduce your post-challenge nutrition plan, but we're introducing it here because we want you to know that we have a plan for you that will keep you from becoming another statistic. That wraps up section two. What questions do you have? So don't worry too much about nutritional periodization. This is something we will help you calculate for you, okay? So this is all science-based, based off your own um, height, weight, gender, age, all that stuff. This is something that we will calculate for you. So if you wanna understand how that works, we can explain. But other than that, we will take care of this for you. All right, moving on to the next section. The rest of this presentation is going to focus on setting you up for success to optimize your fat loss phase. In sections three and four, we're going to cover the only two things you need to be successful on the challenge. To be successful on the challenge, you only need to know how to do these two things. Make a meal plan and track your food. First, let's learn how to make a meal plan. In your welcome email, you received instructions for how to download and set up the FitBody coaching app. Your coach used the information you entered into the app, your gender, age, current weight, measurements, and your activity level to create a daily calorie budget that safely puts you in a calorie deficit while feeding you as many calories as possible. Remember, our goal is not to starve you by over-restricting your calories. That's just not smart or sustainable. After you receive your daily calorie budget from your coach, you're going to divide that budget into meals. Let's say your daily calorie budget is 1600 and you decide to evenly divide your calorie budget into four meals per day. As you can see here, you'll enjoy four 400 calorie meals. You don't have to divide the calories evenly across your meals and you're welcome to eat four, five, or even six meals per day. Do what works for you. Remember, sustainability is the goal. Likewise, how you spend your daily calorie budget is up to you, but you'll find it easier to stay in a calorie deficit, which is what leads to fat loss, if you're satisfied and not hungry all the time. Let me show you what I mean. At FitBody, we think about food the same way we think about money. Food is not good or bad, but there are good and bad investments. For example, food that fills you up, fuels your workouts, and makes you feel good are good investment foods. 
Foods that are void of vitamins and minerals and leave you hungry, make you feel sluggish, those are poor investment foods. Makes sense, right? To help guide you to eat more good investment foods, we categorize all protein, carbohydrates, and fats into three categories. Eat more, eat some, and eat less. As you can see here, we use a simple green, yellow, red color coding system to help you budget your daily calories. No foods are off limits. You can eat whatever you want, but when you fill up on more of the eat more foods, it'll be much easier to maintain a calorie deficit because you won't feel hungry. And when you're not hungry, it becomes much easier to walk past the break room donuts, right? We know that nutrition is not one size fits all. That's why we've created multiple ways for you to plan your meals. First, let's look at how to use the meal builder guide and food list to build your meals. Remember this slide? I'm going to use it to show you how to plan your meals using the meal builder guide. To recap, let's say your daily calorie budget is 1600 and you decide to evenly divide your calorie budget into four meals per day. As you can see here, you'll enjoy four 400 calorie meals. In the meal builder guide, you'll notice the food list in the back of the guide is organized by calories. To build our first meal, we'll, we'll turn to the 400 calorie pages in the meal builder guide since I've decided to eat four 400 calorie meals. For my first 400 calorie meal, I'm going to have a protein shake. You'll notice there are different serving sizes for males and females in the meal builder guide. I'm going to use the female serving sizes to build my shake. First, I'll find protein powder and measure out 1.7 scoops since that's the serving size listed for females on the 400 calorie page. Notice here that truly in protein powder is an eat more food. Next, I'm going to choose a carb for my protein shake, so I'll turn to the carb pages within the 400 calorie section of the meal builder guide. A banana sounds good, so I'll measure out 4.8 ounces of banana and add it to my shake. Remember, the serving sizes for males and females are different, so make sure you're not over or under eating. Next, it's time to choose a fat for my protein shake. I'm going to measure out 1.2 tablespoons of nut butter, the amount listed for females. Together, the protein powder, banana, and nut butter totals 400 calories. Simple, right? After you've chosen your protein, carbohydrate, and fat, write it down in the meal planning and tracking sheet found on the resource site. If you choose an eat more food, write it in the green section. Write all of your eat some foods in the yellow area and eat less foods in the red space on your meal planning and tracking sheet. By planning your meals using this simple green, yellow, and red system, you can easily see where you're spending your daily calorie budget. Remember, no foods are off limits, but eating more of the eat more foods will keep you feeling satisfied and great, making it easier to maintain a calorie deficit. If you find yourself feeling hungry, try swapping out some of the eat less foods with some eat more food choices from the food list. Now, before we move on, I want to share something important about the food list. As you can see here, all of the fats for females on the 400 calorie pages equal 112 calories. That means I can use any fat that adds up to 112 calories in my protein shake. For example, I could substitute 2.5 ounces of avocado or 2.5 cups of unsweetened coconut milk because they both equal 112 calories, same as the 1.2 tablespoons of nut butter. To determine portion sizes, you should weigh and measure your food whenever possible. This is the most accurate way to ensure you're sticking to the calorie budget that your coach gave you. If building your meals using the Meal Builder Guide feels a little overwhelming at first, try one of our meal plan options. Our done-for-you meal plans are perfect if you've ever thought, man, I wish someone would just tell me what and how much to eat so I didn't have to think about it. We've partnered with Evolution Nutrition to create done-for-you meal plans complete with what and how much to eat to fit your daily calorie budget. Evolution Nutrition Meal Plans are created by licensed dietitians and include seven days of meals, recipes, and a shopping list so you know exactly what to eat. You'll find basic, high-protein, paleo, and plant-based meal plans on the resource site. Next, let's talk about our Challenge Meal Plan Thought Starters. We've created six weeks worth of meal plans to help take the guesswork out of what's for dinner. <laughs> We've even created two ways for you to portion your meals. 
with your hands or by using the Meal Builder Guide. Check out the resource site for the Meal Plan Thought Starters, Hand Measurement Guide, and the digital version of the Meal Builder Guide. This is one of the most common questions we hear on the challenge. Remember, no foods are off limits. You can eat whatever you want as long as you stick to your daily calorie budget. Now, one last word on meal planning before we move into the next section. There's no right or wrong way to meal plan. Try each of the options we've reviewed and decide what's right for you. The only option that's off the table is giving up on meal planning or on yourself. What questions do you have on meal planning? So everything that we go over today that you need to read, download, use, just know that we have a resource site that Connie has sent out. There's a link in your email to access that. Also, if you have Facebook and you've joined our Transformation Challenge uh, private group, you can access the information there. Connie has uploaded every single document that you need for this challenge. So um, if you, for some reason, can't get a hold of the documents, let us know and we'll go from there. All right, next section. In this section, we'll cover the other skill you need to be successful on the challenge, and that's how to track your food. Now, before you grumble at the idea of tracking your food and your weight, consider this. Tracking your food will significantly increase your results. We'll talk about why in just a minute. Now, you don't have to do it forever. Try it for just six weeks and see how you feel. If you're like most people, you'll likely stick with it. And lastly, tracking your food is not meant to be a life sentence or a punishment. If you try it and it's not working for you, ask your coach for other ways to help you stick to your daily calorie budget. When you track your food, you will lose weight because you become more mindful about what, when, and why you're eating, and you'll be less apt to overdraft your daily calorie budget. If you know you have to track the handful of M&Ms you eat from your coworker's candy dish, you might think twice about eating them. Tracking your food also gives your coach insight into how to help you reach your goals. Your nutrition, combined with sticking to your habits, working out, drinking half your body weight in ounces of water every day, and getting good quality sleep will all affect your results. You can track your food in the Fitbit or MyFitnessPal app. Now, you do not need to have a Fitbit device to use the Fitbit app. Both apps are free and available for download on Google Play or in the App Store. The Fitbody Coaching app defaults to sync with the Fitbit app, however, the MyFitnessPal app is more compatible with recipe building, so if you prefer to use the MyFitnessPal app to track your food, just let your coach know. Whichever app you choose, be sure to watch the videos on the resource site for important information about how to use these apps to track your food. Tracking your food is a skill that will take a little bit of time to learn, but it's essential to long-term weight loss, so spend the necessary time to learn this essential skill. We recommend printing the meal planning and tracking document from the resource site and plan a day's worth of meals. Once you know what you're going to eat for the day, enter each item into the Fitbit or MyFitnessPal app. We promise, before long, you'll be a food tracking pro. Now, raise your hand if I have your commitment that you'll track your food throughout the challenge. Okay, good. Oh, and one final word on tracking. You might notice when logging foods into the Fitbit or MyFitnessPal app that values for calories, protein, carbs, and some fats may be different inside the app than in the Meal Builder Guide. This is due to the vast number of different brands and types of food available in the food logging app's databases. For example, in the food list shown here on the left, one cup of oat milk is 83 calories. On the right, you can see that one cup of Pacific Natural Foods oat milk is 20 calories in the MyFitnessPal app. The food that you select may not be the same choice that was chosen for the food list example. If you track a food that has a large discrepancy like the one shown here, we recommend toggling to a different choice of that food that aligns closer to the values found on the food list. That wraps up section four. What questions do you have? So to be clear, Tracking is going to be really, really important and vital for, um, you know, you being successful in this challenge. So do we expect you to track your food for the rest of your life? No, 
But for the, the sake of this challenge, um, most people do not know what four ounces of chicken look like or necessarily what they're putting in their body. So this is just a way to educate you and help you be aware of how much food to eat, when to eat, um, and try to make better choices. When you actually write it down, you're more mindful, okay? So just be aware of that. All right, moving on to the next section. The best athletes in the world need a coach, and so do you. One of the many things that makes FitBody unlike any gym or fitness program you've tried before is the accountability and support your coach provides. In addition to creating your custom fitness and nutrition plan, your coach will guide, motivate, inspire, and hold you accountable throughout the challenge. Here's what you can expect. Your coach will check in with you every week to see how you're doing with your nutrition, exercise, daily habits, and mindset to ensure you're on track to reach your goals. Every Thursday, your coach is going to email you a link to complete your progress report. Be sure to answer your coach's questions honestly. It's the only way your coach can help you. Your progress report is due to your coach by noon on Friday. If you turn your progress report in by noon on Friday, you can expect to hear back from your coach by noon on Saturday. If you do not turn your progress report in by noon on Friday, your coach will respond to your progress report on Monday. Be sure to complete your progress report on time so that you have time over the weekend to plan for the next week. Weekly progress report, you'll enter your weight and in total inches so your coach can track your progress. Be sure you record your weight and measurements each week on the tracking sheet found on the resource site. You will need the information to complete your weekly progress report. You will not have access to the previous week's data in your weekly progress report, so it's important that you track your information each week. If you decide to enter your body stats in the FitBody Coaching app, you'll notice the app asks for different measurements than the measurements you'll report to your coach each week. You're welcome to enter the additional measurements the app asks for as long as you consistently report the measurements your coach asks for each week. On your progress report each week, you'll report the sum of these inches added together. Chest, waist, belly button, hips, both biceps, and both thighs. Remember to write these measurements down on the tracking sheet we just reviewed. You will not have access to the previous week's data in your weekly progress report, so it's important that you track your information each week. One last thing on your measurements. Recording them in the app is 100% optional. Reporting them each week to your coach is not. Be sure to complete your progress report. Your coach is here to hold you accountable to reaching your goals. You'll take your photos before the challenge begins and again in week six. You'll submit your before photos along with your after photos in week six. We'll remind you. For now, just take your before photos and hold on to them. You can find best practices for taking your photos on the resource site. And don't worry, we'll never use your photos without your permission. Now that wraps up section five. Let's move on to our final section. So tracking your progress is also something really important because you're gonna be making changes every day to your body. You might not see it. So those before and after photos are going to speak volumes and losing inches is another way to track that you are making progress. So very important uh, step not to skip. So make sure you take those before photos now before the challenge and also after so you can see the difference. Okay. All right. Last section here. All right. So putting this all together, guys. So make sure that you download and set up your Fit Body Coaching app. That is something that you'll be using every day. Your daily task, tasks, I should say, will be on this coaching app. Sleep, water, exercise, nutrition, okay? That's how we hold you accountable. Um, and that's how you can use this to develop daily habits that support your health and fitness goals, okay? So make sure you get that set up and know how to use it. So if you haven't, which you should have, complete your initial evaluation because this is how Connie will come up with your caloric intake. And this is individualized, okay? So depending on your age, weight, all that stuff, this is 
completely personalized. So she has to go through each and one of your evaluations. So this will take time. So turn it in as soon as possible if you haven't, because the sooner we get it, the sooner you get it back. All right, so we went over this. Make sure you download the Fitbit or My Fitness Pal tracking app for food. This is really important to log because sometimes if we need to backtrack and see what's going on, um, you have a log already and we can better assess and analyze what's going on with your nutrition. Take your, the four photos, guys. And here's the thing. It's a lot of information, all right? But we are here for you. Connie is your accountability coach. She'll make sure that you get your daily tasks checked off. But when you're here, you can talk to me or any of the coaches. Uh, we have Coach Dominic, Dan, Felicia, and Melanie. We're all here to help you. When you're here, if you need help with measuring, if you need help with form, exercising, anything, please come talk to us and we're more than happy to help you out in any way we can. And of course, guys, commit yourself. You really got to go into this thing feeling really committed because that will dictate your outcome. So change your mindset. All right, now the fun stuff, administrative stuff, things to expect when you're coming to the studio, um, studio rules, all that fun jazz. Okay, so a couple of things. We offer hybrid boot camp. So when you show up to boot camp, in person boot camp, you can choose indoor or outdoor boot camp. Um, of course, indoor and outdoor will have different protocols. So if you're outdoors, you don't need to wear a mask. And you will need a workout mat, um, you know, but if you for some reason, for some reason, forget your mat at home, um, we have some loaners, but it's best to bring your own. Um, now, on the other hand, if you decide to work indoors for whatever reason that is available to you, make sure you bring a pair of clean, dry shoes. We do not allow outdoor shoes on the workout floor because we try to keep it clean and tidy okay and that's for you we do a lot of floor exercises so i don't think you necessarily want to be rolling around in other people's dirt okay so that's why we do that so make sure if you just keep a pair of clean shoes in your car just in case okay and i recommend bringing a bath towel instead of a mat for indoors because mats um, tend to curl up and people trip over it um, towel something that it's nice and flush to the ground and you know something to catch your sweat okay now reserve your sessions guys must 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 reserve ahead of time so every friday at noon we release classes to reserve for uh the following week so set your alarm for 1205 so you don't forget to reserve your classes for the following week now classes do get full um but make sure you reserve ahead of time and if the class is full, make sure to put yourself on the wait list because I will more, like, more than likely add you to the class, okay? So make sure you, if you really want the class and there's a wait list, get yourself on the wait list, okay? Now masks, we have a new mandate. Outdoors, we do not need a mask, um, but indoors, like I said, if you're indoors, you gotta wear a mask, okay? That's just something that we have to abide by. Now, cleaning up your, your equipment is optional. We actually clean it up for you. We, we disinfect and, and wipe and clean everything after each session, after each use. But, um, you know, if you feel like you wanna help out, that's, that's great. Uh, we would love for you to help us clean and, and disinfect, but that's optional, okay? That's something that we do for you. And pay attention. So come to class, so be on time. Eh. On time is late, guys. Come early. Come about 10 minutes early. Come warm up. Um, don't be that person coming in right when class starts because you could miss out on a, a warm up and the demo. Okay. Those are two important things. Warming up your body is really important because these 30 minute workouts start on time and they are fast paced. So you really want to get your body ready by mobilizing your joints and warming up anything that could be stiff and sore. 
All right. And then of course, pay attention. We're going to be demoing the movements in the beginning of class. So if you miss out on the demo, you could hurt yourself because form is really important. So come early, pay attention and have a good workout. Okay. Um, mindset's important guys, right? You could be having a bad day, an awful day, stressful day, leave all of that hang it at the door guys when you're here focus on the task at hand focus on the workout this is me time this is your time so make sure that you are in it and you bring your intensity you bring your a game so you have the best workout every time okay we do not like negative energy in our boot camp okay so make sure that you hang that at your door and Leave all that behind you, okay? Focus on yourself in the next 30 minutes that you're here at boot camp. Of course, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Water is really important, especially if you're coming in early in the morning. You got to drink some water, guys. You've been sleeping for seven, eight hours, no water. And then coming to boot camp, you're going to sweat. So make sure to leave a bottle of water, a glass of water next to you. Uh, bedside so you can drink you know eight ounces before coming eight to 16 ounces before coming okay so very important you, you should be hydrated throughout the day okay not just before and after your workout now kids okay i love your kids i love them all um but if you don't need to bring your kids to boot camp please uh don't because it's just for safety reasons right you know sometimes kids run around the trip over dumbbells and they don't know any better. They want to pick up heavy weights. We just don't want them to hurt themselves, but we get it. You know, sometimes you don't have a sitter that they, they, they're with you. If that's the case, you know, bring them and make sure they sit somewhere quietly, safely, and they're not running around. Okay. Um, and then last but not least, I mentioned this, ask for help. If there's any confusion, confusion, anything that you need help with, ask anybody. You can ask a coach. You can ask a fitness uh, member that it's already, um, who's already a member at our studio, okay? Always, always ask for help. You are not alone. Okay, so today, actually not today, but every Friday at noon, I, I, I mentioned that we release classes. So this is your app to reserve your classes. So every Friday at noon, reserve your classes for next week. You can mix and match your classes one day. If the afternoon works for you, awesome. The next day morning, go ahead. As long as there's a class, you're more than welcome to book it. Okay. All right, guys. So you guys registered for the challenge. You're in it. You already seen this orientation guys. You really got to focus and, and give it a fair mindful thought and commitment okay we're here to help you you have all the tools for you to be successful okay the only way that this doesn't work out is that you give up and you're not patient and you just are not trusting the trusting the process okay and last but not least i'm gonna leave you with a parting thought okay whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Okay, this goes back to mindset. If you come in to this challenge thinking, oh, it's not gonna work, oh, it's you know, you're you're skeptical, you think you're gonna fail, guess what? That's gonna happen because you already put that in your head. Okay, this is called that self-fulfilling prophecy. So flip that switch, okay? Tell yourself this is gonna work. I am worth it, it's finally time, I'm ready, um, I'm worth it, you know, give it your all. Okay, and that will help you be successful in this six week journey. Okay, remember, this is a comprehensive approach to living a healthy lifestyle. Every day you check off those daily tasks, you're going to build those habits, those routine to be successful long term. That is it for me. I cannot wait to meet you at boot camp and see where this journey takes you. Thanks, guys. We'll talk soon.